All right. Um, earlier, I got my Honda motor. 5.5 horsepower, 160 cc. Overhead cam. Uh, it hadn't been running. Shit. Two years. Been been running for about two years. And the reason why is uh, when I I don't know how I gave I lent it to my neighbor. And somehow this cable must have got bent or something. But anyway, so I'm just gonna see if I can see what I can do to kind of fix it. And let me use the uh, check the oil. It's got oil. I think. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got oil. No bug on there too. Anyways, Let's see if we can uh, fix this over here. I can get it to open up and get it running again. Put the top off and the gas tank. And the spark plug is out. I'm still trying to work on getting this off. This is the flywheel. And if you've ever wondered what makes a spark plug fire, well, here you go. This right here is called the magneto. See that thing right there? That charges this right here when it spins around and sends a pulse out to the uh, spark plug. Let's see, get it turned. can't get it to turn right now but anyways that's basically what what it does when you pull your lawnmower this thing will spin around and it'll pass over this thing that's kind of like a magnetically thing kind of I guess you would say but anyways I thought this might like to see that and uh yeah this is the flywheel alright I got, got a light now just to give you a kind of a reference on how dirty that uh, oil was in my weed here that's kind of new used, kind of used twice oil. And this is the old oil from the weed eater. But anyways, back to the engine. So much shit in the way. Oh man, I'm flashing my battery. But anyways, there's the valves. There's the cam lobe. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, there is inside the engine. It's a good thing I dumped this oil out because when I dumped it out, I saw some gas come out too. So anyway, that's a good thing I dumped it out. Little wide lift. So uh, there's the valves. I want to see them spin a little bit. There's the cam right there. Yeah. Anyway, let's spin the wheel just a little bit. Good. Exhaust. Intake. Compression. Fire. Exhaust. Intake. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, that's all. Alright, since I um, don't have any gloves, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start disassembling this engine. And these valves are really easy to take out. You see, you just pop that pin, and it comes right off. See if I can put it right here. And, uh, that's what uh, pushes the valve. See the cam will hit. Ah uh, shit! Hold on. The cam will hit that little thing right there, and that right there is where you adjust the valve, and that was that right there is what pushes the valve down. So I'm going to be saving that. Pop this other one up. Same with this one. The cam hits there, 
And that's what pushes it all down. In the past 10 minutes, I've gotten the choke uh, lever off. Gas tank completely off. Some of the bolts out for the engine. Which are over there. Uh, this thing's coming off next. Carburetor's coming off. Alright. Block is loose. You just got two bolts left. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this real quick. Too bad I don't have any gloves. Oh well. After taking the bolts out from underneath the engine, I finally got this open. Got some oil draining out. This thing holds a lot more oil than what you would think. Anyway, everything is off. That's all that came off of it. These are the bulbs that came off. Oil. Anyways, I'm gonna crack, crack this open and then I'll get back to you. What they're fighting with this? Got the bottom off. You can see the crankshaft inside of the engine. It's a belt for your uh, cam. Kind of weight. And there's your rod and your piston down there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and uh, get this stuff off so it can get a better look at the piston and rod and stuff. <sighs> After spending four hours fucking with this shit, mainly trying to get the flywheel off. Uh, the flywheel is connected to that and it's that's what sticks up at the top of the engine and that's what you have to get off. And uh... That's the, uh, shit, what's it called? Uh, fucking crankshaft. And if you want to know how to get a, one of these motherfuckers off, flywheel off these Honda engines, well, you have to break like half your block to hammer the motherfucker off. See all the dents on it. My hammer. But anyway, I only got what I've been looking for. The piston. I pull it out. And there's the piston. Uh, some little chunks in there. I wonder what that's from. That's not chunks of block. But anyway, I got 20% battery power, so I'm about to have to go. That's what the uh, top of the piston looks like. It's all black. You can see where the valves go. There's the rings, top two rings are for compression, that bottom one is for uh, oil. Just get the oil off the sides. That little hole there is to uh, lubricate it all. Believe it or not, this is 160 cc's. Uh, let's see. For comparison, here's a Coke can. It's about as uh, big as a Coke can. And uh... That rod is really short. I'm surprised that it was that short, but anyways. Uh, yep, I finally got what I was looking for after spending four hours. Oh man, I made a fucking mess.